What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simon, I'm an Italian professional photo videographer. And in this video, which is actually a second part of a video that I already made, we're gonna keep exploring Pixel X, which is an amazing web-based software that allows to edit photos in a very simple and intuitive way. In the first part, we have seen the basic adjustments and some of the basic features that Pixel F offers. And in this video, we're gonna go in depth about other features that will actually help you a lot when talking about portraits. In the first video, we start by looking at the adjustment tab where you can change lighting colors and all those things and the next menu is actually a fact so these are presets that you can use to then modify your photo so there is also the portrait kind of effect tab that you can click to then showcase a few presets that you have already so you've got the matter you got a deep film sunny Plus, whenever you click a preset, let's say matter, you'll be able to access the intensity of the preset. So if you put 100%, this is gonna affect quite strongly the image. If you put maybe 10, then this is gonna be a subtle difference. You can play around a lot with all these presets and some of them are pretty cool. Then we got the liquify and this is a very, very cool menu because basically liquify allows you to actually modify the shape of anything within your image. Now, let me explain you what it does. You've got five different buttons and the last one is actually restoring and with the first one you can push something towards something else the second one you can enlarge something the third one you can shrink something and the fourth one and fifth one you can swirl something right and left now let me show you the push let's say you don't like that this part of the nose because maybe it's bigger than the other one what you can do is that you select push right here and then you'll be able to actually bring this part towards wherever you want. So now I'm just clicking, hold it to then move anything that I want towards the side. So it's kind of like squishing. Even for example, if I don't like this part, I can take it and then pushing towards one side or the other. Obviously you can change the dimension, the size of the brush. So in this case, let's make it slightly bigger and then we can bring this part and push it towards the inside. And there you go. Now, one more thing that you can do is actually enlarging certain parts or shrinking some others. So if we click on enlarge, for example, we want to do the eyes, you just want to select the size and the strength. I think this is a little bit too strong. So let's do 20% and then look at the difference boom you can enlarge the eyes like crazy obviously this maybe is a little bit too much so you're just gonna click once and that's it or you can also do the same thing with shrinking so if you don't like your nose because maybe it's a little bit bigger with this one everything that you've got to do is just you choose a right size and then you click on the nose and boom there you go it can become as small as you want now this is crazy obviously but if we just tap once or twice then the nose is a little bit smaller now let's actually take another image so we click portrait and maybe let's take this one. We're gonna create a new one. We're gonna apply. And then we're gonna duplicate this layer. So I tap on the three buttons right here and then I'm gonna click duplicate layer and I'm gonna work on the top layer so that I can show you the difference. So we're gonna zoom in in her face and then we're gonna use the liquify to actually enlarging her eyes. Maybe you're gonna pick a smaller size of the brush like so and also the other one. There you go. And then we're gonna shrink a bit the nose there you go and then we're gonna use the push tool to push this one a little bit inward there you go and also the other side i think that's fine maybe let's do again on this side there you go and then we can also take the mouth and actually move it a little bit towards the upper side so we make her happier even though she's already happy and she's already beautiful but just to show you the before and after let me click on this uh, eye right here before and after before and after as you can see there is a very little difference because I didn't push it too much but you can actually change the shape of anything with this uh, liquify now I just want to show you the swirl right and swirl left in this case we don't need to use it for her but let's say she had the nose that it was not exactly straight then you can use this function to rotate it in this case is rotating towards the right now we don't need this I just wanted to show you there we go then one more thing that you can do is actually retouching the photo and this is the next one you'll be able to use the heel the clone or sharpen blur and also dodge and burn obviously what it does is pretty straightforward you're just gonna heal center part of the image and if you want to remove let's say pimples or imperfections of the image then this is the tool that you want to use so let's click it for example in this pimples right here boom everything is gone in just a few clicks if it doesn't do the job always try to change the size and see if that works better boom there you go there you go there you go 
there you go there you go so we got the before and after everything is gone it's just a few clicks and this is really really useful then we got the clone so you'll be able to actually clone certain part of the image in this case I'm taking the black part and then transferring it to the white one we don't need this right now and also you can sharpen or blur so you can blur or sharpen certain part of the image if you want to sharpen the eyes you can use the sharpen tool and then you drag it on top of the eyes and there you go we got the before and after very little difference but I'm not sure if you can see it from YouTube but that's how it works and also you can blur center part so let's say you don't want to have this one in focus then you can maybe increase the size and then blur this part boom there you go same thing with the dodge and burn dodge and burn means that you're actually increasing or decreasing the exposure of certain parts of the image and you can target the dark so that means the shadows you can target the mid tones that means let's say the skin tones and the highlights so that means maybe the teeth so let me lighten up let's say we're gonna click on mid tones and i want to lighten up this part boom there you go and even here bam. we got the before and the after in just a few clicks maybe this is a little bit too much but you can play around with this because it's actually super useful and it's used a lot especially in portraits then you can darken also other parts so let's say you want to make your air darker then you can increase the size target the shadows because these are your shadows and boom you're actually making this darker a little bit too strong so you can decrease the strength maybe you have it one and then you just click 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 and there you go this is becoming darker then we have the draw function so with this one you'll be able to draw whatever you want choose the color choose the size softer and transparency and then you're good to go just paint on it then we have the last menu which contains three super cool effects that is glitch focus and dispersion let me just show them quickly so you can glitch an image by using one of these five effects and then you'll be able to customize them as much as you want so let's pick the glitch one let's pick the glitch two glitch three glitch four so these are just presets but then you can go inside and then play around with all the settings to make your own different glitch and i really like this it could be a great effect in case you want to modify some pictures or even for let's say a profile picture i think it could look great then we have the second menu which is actually focus and for this we're going to use actually a different image portrait female there you go let's see what we can use maybe we can use this one we create a new one full hd but then you can pick whatever you want and then what this one does is that you'll be able to actually create artificially a bouquet effect a soft blur or a bouquet shape and basically the soft blur adds blur from this point towards the outer part and from this point towards the outer part so if you want the blur to start maybe here outside her face then you stay like this and then in this part as you can see it's blurred and this part is more blurred but then this part the center part is not affected you can rotate it you can move it wherever you want you can actually increase the gradient of which the soft blur affects the image and you can also increase the bokeh blur so that will allow you to have a little bit more like the portrait effect and then if you deactivate these two you can use the bokeh shape which is probably my favorite among all those and this adds overlays so that maybe you can match the color of the image let's say like this one i really like it you can increase the size you can increase or decrease the quantity of elements that is they are actually added to the image the intensity and also the shape so if you want stars if you want glimmer triangle or circles I like circles a lot obviously with this kind of focus effect you can change also the mode so you can have it symmetric like the one that we have right now you can have radial you can have linear and you can have also none so this is affecting the overall image then the last one that I want to show you is actually called dispersion then here you can draw a mask on whatever part of the image you want for example let's take this part and then once you release it Pixlr will automatically create a dispersion effect that you can modify as much as you want just using all these different sliders. Once again, here is totally up to you as much as you want, as less as you want. You just need to play around with the direction, with the stretch, with the amount, with the shape. And yeah, just try to move all these sliders and play around with your images. And all right, guys, this was the overview about Pixel X. If you want to check out the software, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. So check it out, play around with it, and let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one ciao